Tourism Minister Lindiwe Sisulu is opening Africa's travel in Daba in Durban today. The tourism in Daba is the largest tourism expo on the continent. It's the first time since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic more than two years ago that the event is taking place in person. Let's take you there to live. The place of Queen Ntania, Mkabai Kachama, and Nandi. But also this is home to famous Zulu kings such as King Shagaga Senza Nakona, Techwa Yokampande, who led Amazulu nation to victory against the British at the Battle of Isandwana in 1879. It was here in Deppen where Ned Nakasa reflected on multicultural rainbow nation of South Africa as he said, and I quote, my people are South Africans. Mine is the history of great threat. The Kandi's passive resistance in Johannesburg, the wars of King Echoayo, and the dawn raids, which gave us the treason trials of 1956. All these are South African stories. They are part of me. Close quote. We welcome you to Guazulu Natal, a province which is a destination for tourism in Africa and the world. We have hosted major events, but also we have beautiful iconic sites such as Ukashamba Drakensberg and Ismangaliso wetland. Of course, we offer a lot in terms of leisure. And those of you who would want to spend more time after this uh, in Daba will be welcomed. Late this year, we will also host a number of other activities that boost tourism in the province. That include the Comrades Marathon and the Deppen July Handicap that will take place in July. We are resuscitating tourism after the COVID-19 pandemic and we hope this will grow as before the pandemic tourism was contributing at least 10 percent to the GDP of this province. In November 2021 we opened the KwaZulu Natal cruise terminal in the port of Deben and we offer cruise from here to Mozambique, Deben, to Cape Town and Japan to Mauritius. So we welcome you to the home of African tourism. Enjoy yourself. May I take this opportunity to call upon the main speaker who will address us this morning and further open officially this Africa's uh, tourism uh, in Daba. I wish to request all of you to join me in welcoming Minister Lindy Wesisulu to the stage to address us, uh, colleagues. Thank you very much, Premier. Please, you may be seated. Thank you, Premier. Um, I'd like to recognize all the ministers who are here, Dr. Bismarck Usi, Minister of Tourism and Culture in Malawi. I'd like to recognize um, Honorable Moses Vilagadi, the Minister of Tourism, the ever effervescent uh, Tourism Minister of the Kingdom of Efasatini. I'd like to recognize Honorable Muderun Simba Mutondo, Minister of Tourism in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'd like to recognize and welcome Honorable Colonel Retired Tom Butime, Minister of Tourism, Wildlife, Antiquities of the Republic of Uganda. I'd like to recognize Honorable Martin Mugura Mohindura, State Minister of Tourism in the Republic of Uganda. I'd also like to recognize Honorable Rodney Sihumba, Sikumba, Minister of Tourism from Zambia, and Deputy Minister of South Africa, Fish Mashalela, uh, 
my pillar of strength, the MEC for Development and Tourism and Environmental Affairs in Guazulu Natal, uh, Mr. Lavi uh, Pillay, MECs of provinces, representatives, uh, the representative of the mayor, Mkolisi Kawunda, who couldn't be here. I'd like to say thank you very much for the kind words that have been given here in opening the session by uh, Advocate Murjanku Gumbi, the chair uh, of the board, and uh, the gracious introduction and historical insight we have had from the Premier uh, to open up uh, our, our, um, our deliberations. I'd like to recognize members of my war room and advisors, the DDGs in the de the DGDs in the department, so the DG and the DDGs in the department. Of right, we have a cut there uh, from uh, the uh, tourism travel in Daba that's currently underway in KZN. On the podium, the Minister of Tourism, Lindy Wesusulu, giving her opening address. We'll endeavor to take you back there as soon as we're able. Tourism Minister Lindy Wesusulu is opening Africa's travel in Daba in Durban today. Let's take you back there as generated by our tourism entity when we came to the end of, our, of our COVID and we had the most exciting night and we coined this phrase, we can breathe again, we can live again and indeed we live again. As we do our business, we must remember that our continent is our own market. All countries in Africa have potential for domestic and tourism growth and intracontinental tourism from Africa's rapidly growing economics and growing middle class in the opportunity beginning to be explored right now. We need improved collaboration efforts between our, the countries that are here and the countries that have supported us right through. In this regard, we continue to build an events pipeline that continues to demonstrate that Africa is a premier destination for tourism, focusing on trade, investment, and tourism. Africa's travel in Daba is one such event. The pace of our recovery is dependent upon us addressing some of our challenges, both historic and new. While COVID-19 had placed on us a specific emphasis on safety, we know that barriers such as xenophobia, immigration re uh, regulations, as well as limited uh, direct airlift remain challenges. We commit to you that we're looking into this to make South Africa uh, the best destination you can think of. Since my appointment as Minister of Tourism, I've had several engagements with my fellow cabinet ministers in, relate, in related departments in a bid to partner and address these challenges that we've just outlined. And we together working towards our sector's recovery are going to make it possible. We've already seen positive developments around the rollout of the e-visa regime for most of our key source markets. I thought I'd have a cheer for the e-visa, none. It took a lot of persuasion from this side to get that going. This is not only an, an important uh, step forward for South African tourism, but it is also uh, a much needed uh, entry point for South Africa's intra-trade activities. I'm committed to continue with these engagements in addressing the barriers that continue to plague our destination and hinder us from becoming an even more appealing destination for more tourists and realizing much needed growth. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm personally looking forward to a buzzing African travel in Daba today over the next three days as well. I look forward to walking the floor, meeting with some of you of the tourist, with the tourism uh, products that you have brought to us across the continent and exhibiting them here and of course engaging with some of the buyers. I would like to also thank members of the media very rare of me to do that, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for covering us so, so beautifully. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for covering us so positively. You are valued partners to us, and you help us. And you help us spread the good news, and indeed keep us accountable on issues that pertain to our sector. 
We remain committed to working with you in replacing the sometimes negative narrative that goes out there because negative narrative runs faster than good news. So we're going to be working with you. Give you a bit of uh, sweetener and make sure that you can cover this and many more other tourism uh, and, and, uh, um, uh, areas as positively as possible. I'd like to extend a word of appreciation to the greater South African tourism sector. Your passion for our country is undeniable. I saw this when we were in lockdown. People who were in the tourism industry came to me and say, Minister, how can we help you? We're here. And they on their own, from their own war rooms, to advise me. Thank you so much. And I seem so much wiser than I should have been because of you. Thank you. Thank you for your passion. I also want to thank the collaboration and partnership that we have with other ministers that have been here to uh, visit us. And I have no doubt that we are all going to win starting from now. And a special word of appreciation, too, to the enthusiasm enthusiastic Indaba project management team from, your, from our valued bid partners, our partner agencies and South African tourism staff members. You have once again delivered a fantastic trade show. I'd like while I go on thanking everybody to also appreciate that the portfolio committee chair is here with us. Thank you for taking time to be with us and we hope that you're going to support us as we ask for more money to go forward. You come to us at a time when we've just experienced the worst rain ravages in, the, in, in, in Guazulu Natal, where as you no doubt know have been told, we lost more than 430 people. Coming on the back of COVID-19, you can imagine what this has meant to many families that have lost loved ones, where each person is an irreplaceable treasure. We mourn with all those who lost their families and pray for their healing and ask you to just take one minute to stand up and recognize those, those families who stand and have lost loved ones. Thank you very much. You may be seated. We also want to remember people that have passed, our way, passed away who have been associated with tourism. We call them our tourism master, our warriors. We sadly lost during the height of COVID to name a few of our fallen tourism warriors, Jabu Mabuza of Sun International, Bill and Mary Harrop of Harrop Balloons, Lebu Malebu of Lebu Backpackers, Bradley Brower of Hub Head Asia South African Tourism, Kesham Tembu, past SAT uh, board member, uh, Mandagasi uh, Skefile, board chair of Mandela Bay Tourism, uh, Chef Lebu Semenya, an independent chef who worked with us, Swongile Kumalo, an outstanding cultural activist, and sang at our last Lilizela Awards, and Joe Motsohi, JMT Tours. It warms my heart to welcome you all to South Africa's Travel in Daba 2022. Here's to stimulating conversation, formidable partnerships, and fin finally, sealed deals. With these words, it gives me great pleasure to declare South Africa's Travel in Daba 2022 officially open. But we have resolved among us here that we will live again. We will live again with fervor and determination to celebrate the value that each life now extinguished had represented and celebrate the time we had with them, that which has made us, each one of us, what we are. Giabonga, Asante Sane, Mesibuku, thank you very much. We're now going to ring the bell. Thank you very much.
One of the biggest tourism events in the continent, the Minister of Tourism, Lindy Wesesulu, officially opening the 2022 travel in Daba. And of course, we'll continue to watch what comes out of there, having mentioned there that different participants from all over the continent are attending. And she also spoke about doing a walkabout, and we hope that Vusi Kumara will bring that to us soon as it happens.